and welcome back to New Week New Game. This is where I play a game that I've never played before in, in a week. We don't play the whole game in a week. I, I pick a day out of the week and I pick a game that I haven't played before. And I play it kind of for like 30 minutes to an hour or something like that. And then I edit the video down to hopefully get right around the 30 minute range. It doesn't always plan out that way. And uh, sometimes I actually play the game longer. And if I do that, you don't get to see part of the video. So I hope you feel good about yourself. You Maybe confess that. Anyways, we're going to move on. Today's game is Pharaonic. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Pharaonic. Pharaonic. Embark on a journey of exploration and violence in the two lands of Egypt with Pharaonic. This unforgiving combat RPG features and streamlined and challenging combat system that will keep you on your toes while fighting for your life. Features in, it sounds like and when I say that, in streamlined and challenging combat system. It has the tags of Souls-like action RPG exploration 2.5D in RPG. 2.5G being that it's 2D, but it has that like sense of depth that there's another dimension there, but it doesn't really give you the full 360 3D kind of feel to it. Uh, this game came out in 2016. It's developed and published by Milkstone Studios. I probably received this game through a bundle of some kind, a random bundle or just any type of uh, bundles I do. I really like enjoying bundles and I get a bunch of games that get into my Steam library and they usually will just kind of sit there until I eventually break down and play the game. And that's what we're doing here. I like the fact that it's Souls-like and then looking at the videos on the Steam store page, they have uh, the combat that they kind of mentioned in here. And it does look a little difficult, but it does look kind of fun too. So I'm looking forward to see how the combat plays. Anyways, enough talking. Without further ado, let's get in the game. Uh, using mouse and keyboard, I wanted to use controller just because my mouse has been disconnecting and connecting. And you may hear that throughout the video. Little ding do. And it has to be my mouse because I've tried different ports on my computer and it still does it. And I don't have a second mouse in order to plug in and try. So I have to get another one. And then hopefully it will stop de doing. And then I can retire the mouse that I'm using. Alright, new game. Oh, we get to just make a character. Dag D. Dag D is always gonna have the same name. Oh, never mind. We can change Dag D's name. I'm gonna keep it a Dag D though. I uh, wish they had a random and they don't. Skin, servant, peasant, tanned, southerner, servant, peasant, tanned. Uh, hair, we can have braided, we can have short, we can have swollen, we can have wild, we can have royal, we can have fancy, braided, sapphire. Oh, they color everything, so it's just the same stuff with color, shaved, shaved, braided. I kind of liked the uh, wild, I like the long braid going down the back there. A uh, voice, hardened man, injured man, what's hardened man? Enduring woman, nimble woman, brave woman, athletic woman, evasive man, heavy man, okay, that's me. Injured man, it sounds kind of like winded. Yeah, that's, that kind of sound like that. Uh, beard shaved, goatee, imperial, pointy, sailor, tribal, Youthful, dense, shaved, kind of like the dense one, but I'm also liking the tribal one, so I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, skin, I might go, I don't know, because the eyes change on them too. Like that one looks more like it's got fear size. Continue there. 
Cutscene. To the Red Pharaoh, master of the two lands, all life, prosperity, and health. In year three of his reign, Pharaoh Amosos liberated Egypt, vanquished the invaders, and raised their capital of Arshavur. And he get to read the rest. In year five of his reign, the Pharaoh came back to Egypt in great triumph, bringing a powerful relic from Avarice, for he hated... Get to finish. In year 14 of his reign, the Red Pharaoh reincarnated for the first time. In year 439 of his reign, the Red Pharaoh reincarnated for the 13th time. In year 440, the Horde of Sea People invaded Egypt. Doesn't it look like sea people. It's like people with blue armor. From the Arium inscriptions circa 1100 BC. Elkstone Studio could not get a voice actor for that part. Hey, yeah. No questions. Not right now. We have to make haste. This heck of steely would stay stable. Okay, well, I can... But you wouldn't survive the teleportation. Not in that state. What are you trying to say about my state? Well, you have to fight. You will have to fight your way out of here. If you make it past the guards, meet me in the village by something. I shall have answers for you then. If you don't make it, alas, may East Stardom have mercy. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Apparently our character just got revived, though. Are we the Pharaoh? Sacrificial Dungeons. So we're just a prisoner up against the wall there. Hey. Talk. Desperate family man. I saw it by Horus. Who was that woman? And why did she choose you? Y you are nobody. I have a family. Damn your soul. Get me out of here. Well, you just damned my soul. I think you'll stay. And then there's this lady here. Captured priestess. Istar be praised, so my sisters have chosen you. I hope Astari is right about you. Go now, make haste. Oh, and talk to Tijuai. She'll help you. She's right ahead, through that door. Alright. Leave you all here, I guess. So we're here with the light. You who I'm supposed to talk to with the one eye? It is Tujuai, life water smuggler. Who? Huh? So the priest has sent you. By Horus, you look half dead. Here, take my canteen. It still has some water left. Have a drink. You'll need it. Alright, canteen or torch. Boop. Boop that torch. The cope of life water will heal your wounds. Use it wisely. Go, get out of here. I like the uh, Egyptian, like ancient Egyptian stories and culture and things like that. Big, uh, gods. I like the anti-gods worship, stuff like that. Can I, like, not go through the big opening that's here? No? Alright. Guess there's nothing of interest. We'll just keep going this way. Uh, use Q to recover your health. Should I do that now? Watchful prisoner. You, you are not a god. Skikr, take me. How on earth have you? Doesn't matter. Look ahead. See that thing with the blade? It's a trap. Tread carefully. You can dodge it if you are fast. Good luck. Guess we're just not gonna free any of these people. Space to dodge. We can do that to roll. Hey, look at that. I was fast. Bloodthirsty prisoner. First, they take my son for the army. He died fighting those foreign bastards. 
Then they sacrificed my wife to the Red Pharaoh. And now here I am. Avenge me, stranger. There's one ahead. Kill him before he turns. Make him suffer. Alright. A strong attack. Uh, whack ya. Oh, hey, fancy. Do that. Just a uh, press, 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 press. Looks like it. Make it across here. Go inside. We got 50 whatever those things are. Cheese blocks. Let's talk to this person here. Deranged woman. <laughs> I'm ready to spill. <laughs> My blood for the true land. <laughs> yes. To the Red Pharaoh. All life. Prosperity. In health. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Just true acting right there. It's real, real thespian stuff you just witnessed. Hope you enjoyed that. What's going on? Got the bowl cut? Fan of the Beatles? Former soldier. Ah! Fancy yourself a fighter. Listen up. I've killed more sea people than you know. That's true. I don't know any sea people. Don't let them hit ya. And don't get all winded. Or you won't even scratch him. Fighting's all about discipline and timing. Dodge, parry, attack. Now, soldier up. Hey there, lady. With the eye patch. One-eyed prisoner. Yeah, I really couldn't think of a clever name for you, huh? You. The exit is that way. Through the main yard. But wait. Careful. The yard is always guarded. Check that chest. I saw one of them bastards stash a shield there. You will need it. Alright. Trust the one-eyed lady for what she saw. Torn shield, sacrificial, or sacrificial dungeon map. Uh, we go to equip and get a torn shield. Ooh. First tab to change our equipment if we ever decided to do that. One different weapon. Too bad, don't have one. One different shield, can't, only got the one. Backpack, we have nothing. We got nothing going on. Let's just keep going. Pray at a shrine to recover your health. I pray to you. All right. That's to block. Harry. Let me know I'm low on uh, amina. A linen headdress. Sure, why not? You're up next. Yeah, that's right into it. This way, it's closed. Get across here. Open a bronze sword so we don't have to swing with a torch anymore. Kahiti, veteran magi captain. 
Well, well, aren't you a tough one? Ever thought about joining the Desert Scouts? But we're not in the Medjai anymore, are we? <laughs> Here is the deal, stranger. Find the key and get me out of this hole. Then I'll teach you. Make an elite Magi out of you yet. Deal? I mean, you don't really look like you're in the position to be making deals. But you know what? We'll go and uh, we'll do that anyways. We don't really have a whole lot else to do. Can we cross through that way? Keep going straight up. Oh. Are you crying? Who's over here crying? Oh, he got it with the double attack. I think it was possible. Oops. F to perform parry on a shielded enemy to break their guard. Who is getting whipped and crying right now? Well, I want me to go to you, huh? It? You didn't drop anything? Ain't that a shame. It's a lot of doors I can be going into. This is probably a uh, trap. Hey. Weight of a feather die for the first time. Got a really got an awkward angle when I died there. The gods won't allow you to avoid your fate so easily. When you fall in combat, you'll come back to the last shrine you prayed at, keeping all your equipment and most of your experience. Wait, most experience. Ow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we did the same thing. It's a lady this time. I saw her do two slices. Should have waited for her to do two slices. I should practice parry a bit more. No, well, did it wrong again. Mm. All right, we're gonna try some doors on our way. right true men back in the day wore skirts let us keep moving <laughs> too soon too soon again As you defeat more enemies, you'll earn experience. Once you earn enough experience, you will level up. Your maximum health and stamina will increase on each level up. Alright, so we don't have any uh, things that I need to do.
no abilities that I gotta go and kind of altercate. Don't you do it. I <laughs> told you not to do it, and you did it. Oh, we did a chicken, we got chicken. Uh-huh, uh-huh, what are we gonna do? No, you don't. Oh, we're getting so good at parrying. Refill. Oh, I probably should have drank and then refilled. Oh, cool. It heals me up, too. Great. Glad I did that. It's just here. Crown of Thorns. I don't know if I should wear that. It's going to hurt me, isn't it? The iconic name given by Kaniti slaves to a crude metal headband worn for basic protection. Less defense, less weight on it too, though. I think we want less weight, don't we? But we're not really super heavy, and I don't think it actually tells us how our weight's at. Oh well, yeah, it's just right here with like a 19, so I guess maybe we should. It's in red. We lower that down, 16, still in red. He'll probably come up after I do this. Heart plate. More weight. It's a lot of weight. Oh, because I'm not wearing anything. It's also a lot more defense. Oh, I'm gonna wear it. You gonna stay asleep? You can talk to him. Hey, sleeping guy. Drunken guard. <laughs> Nerf. Oh, yes. What? Your father? Watch out. Oh, see things are coming. We have to. Not that place. Not to Avaras. Not again. <sighs> Back to sleep. Wounded prisoner. Ugh, it hurts. Damp spears. If only I had a bloody shield. What are you looking at? Think yourself fast, eh? Doesn't matter. You can't dodge a spear, believe me. Better to block it. Take it from me. Ouch. Alright, ouch, I'll take it from you. Oh, yeah, you want to do something? Do something. Wooka! Get out of here! Whoa! They got us that time. Oh, well, you ain't doing nothing. You're not fancy. Oh, too soon. Oh, they got more than double. Copper breastplate. Let's see. More weight. Uh, more defense. Maybe we'll just be a tank. Maybe we'll just be a heavy tank. But I do like the uh, headband, so I'm gonna keep that on. What's up? Dehydrated prisoner. Water. Hey, you. Do you have water? I'm dying of thirst. Tell you what. Give me a sip from your canteen. And this Shabbaty gem is yours. I have no use for it. But a warrior like you can surely use it. Deal? Please? It's a deal. I'll give you a sip and I'll take that Shabbaty gem, whatever it does. Oh. Thank you. You saved my life. Here. Have the Shabbaty gem. Shabbaty gem! I stole it from one of the tombs in the desert. But the Magi caught me. If you manage to activate it, you can use its powers to become deadly in combat. Oh, you don't say. Items. Uh, in the hands of a qualified trainer, this gem can invoke the powers of dead warriors from the other life. Which that one guy said he was a trainer, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, and you're out of here. What's this? This is different. Ah! Uh, 
key of Khajiit's cage and another Shabbati gem. Throughout your adventure, you'll meet people willing to teach you some skills, allowing you to use improved equipment. In order to learn a skill, you need a Shabbati gem. The gem will be consumed in the process. I just want to thank you so much for being, you know, patient with me and waiting for me to finish that text. Ow, ow, okay, that hurt. Yeah. Let me just drink this, relax, okay? Oh, I wasn't able to parry. Oh yeah, parried. Oh, okay, this loops us around. Brings us right on back over here where I can go this way. And talk to this guy. What's going on? Mahiti, veteran magi captain. Finally. Eh. It's good to stretch them old legs again. And smell the desert breeze, eh? Alright. Listen up, soldier. I was captain of the Magi in Thebes for ten harvest seasons. Pay attention and you'll be as invincible as my desert scouts. Hold your sword like this. We learn... Light weapons? You can wield light weapons up to level one without penalties. Hey, alright. Does that mean I've been doing this whole thing with penalties? Uh, you get a stamina bonus when using weapon of lower level. Heavy armor, you can equip heavy armor up to level 1 without penalties. Light armor, I think that's what we've been using is light armor. Great shields, small shields, heavy weapons. Uh, I guess I'll select this. Yes. And I've got one more gem. Uh, let's put it into light armor. Yes. Verheed Veteran Magi Captain. So we get him out of the jail and we completed a quest. And we got an achievement for it. And I think that this is a good place to stop. Like a little demo kind of thing, right? You go through the little trial and tribulations of learning the basics. You get your first little companion person who teaches you things. And then this would be like the perfect time to uh, stop and say what we think about the game, if it was good or not. I actually liked it. I didn't have any problem with it. I think it's a fun little game. I don't think it's uh, too uh, complex. There's no like extra types of uh, stats that you have to go into. It doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of builds, except for maybe a light and heavy build based on the things that you get. So we go to shield here. So you got the light shields and the heavy shields. Good chests. All we have are light chest pieces. Uh, they do seem to have yeah skill mastery. Weight has been decreased now that we have that mastery. Same over here. If I use the torch or the bronze sword, we get a stamina usage decrease. So those are something to keep in mind when choosing what armor and weapons I want to use. And it has to be of level one. I guess I didn't notice that these have level. Yeah, level zero. So as long as it's like level zero or level one and below, I get a little bonus for it. I do like too, the headpiece kind of looks like a, a wig, like a powdered wig that they'd use in courts in Britain. I wonder if they still do that. But yeah, no, it wasn't a bad game at all. I enjoyed the combat. We started getting uh parry down a lot better which in souls game i'm terrible at using parry i try to dodge as much as possible and i get just a little bit too greedy with my hits but i i, I could work on that but yeah it was a good time i enjoyed the game would i come back and play it again sure i don't have any reason to say like oh this was a terrible game i don't think i'd ever come back and play it again uh story wise we just know something about fishmen invading that seems to be a thing that's uh, going on a pharaoh that seems to get resurrected a lot is that our character i don't know 
I guess we gotta find out. And maybe it's this resurrected pharaoh who's been resurrected like 13 or 14 times. Maybe he's the one controlling the fish people, invading Egypt. Uh, we don't we don't know. There's still more questions, and the way to figure that out is to continue the game. Gives you a little direction. It's not really like a uh, free roam. I kind of like that it's like stage based and not a uh, open world free roaming kind of thing. But yeah, give it uh, a th two thumbs up. Would play again. Gonna add it to my list. Anyways, that is gonna do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And please feel free. Put your comments down below if you would play this game. If you think this would be a fun game to play, if you didn't like the game, if you're like, meh, it was alright. Things like that. I like hearing your comments on the games. I like finding people who are into like these little games. We've had someone who commented that they were into Cookie Cutter. Never knew Cookie Cutter was a game, but there's somebody out there who's a big fan, and they're wonderful. People who are really into uh, Rain World. That was a good series. I still have videos that I have played in that game that I have yet to edit and could release again and probably will at some point. But I've got so many ideas for projects and things like that. Who knows? I'm just making banter at this point. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.